Oh, beautiful shot. I like how the um, spark doesn't affect this gun with the reload. Hey guys, Jimmy right here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you're all doing well today. Today, we are going to check out this cool looking build with the lightning guns, the assembler. We're going to have some fun with this thing. Now, before we start, I got some bad news is that uh, my country had its first few victims of the... My country is super small. We only have like 500, uh, 550,000 people. And everybody's panicking, just buying a bunch of stuff, toilet paper, all that stuff. And everybody's, every, all the stores are closing, schools are closing, airports closed. So, um, yeah, every, every, like this whole weekend was panic. Everybody was in panic mode. And um, especially my mom, because, you know, my mom is over 70 and it affects older people more. And she has like diabetes and stuff like that. So, yeah and i got my son here with me as well so yeah kind of scary stuff unfortunately i do think i still have to go to work i wish i could stay home for like a month and just play game non-stop but anyways uh let's just continue on with the video hope you guys are being well and stay safe guys stay stay safe out there anyways uh today we're gonna check out this build it's an old cannon build that i really really like I just modified it a little bit to get to use the assemblers. Uh, it had an ammo box and the Apollo jet. I just removed those. And uh, we got a spider cabin, a hard red engine, legs, and that's it. The rest is structural parts. It's a pretty simple build. I actually think I need to um, armor it up a little bit more because um, there were ammo boxes here and I removed those. So uh, I might add some armor to uh, get some more HP and stuff. And uh, yeah, once I'm done with that, we'll just go straight into battle and just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video, guys. All right, guys, welcome to the Sandy Gulf. Looks like we are able to snipe some. Oh, he dodged that just in time. Overheated already, come on. Good stuff. These things are so fast, crazy fast. It's a nice sniping weapon, but I don't think it should overheat because that's kind of annoying. Let's get this uh, guy. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Bye bye. Oh, what? Pew, 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 pew. Oh, let's get hide from Edward. Edward's trying to wreck me. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, too late. All right, let's get Matthew. Ooh, imagine if someone was heating up the parts for you with like triggers or something. That would have been nice. And imagine if I didn't miss my shots. There you go. Nice. That could actually be a very effective combo. Well, that's how I play triggers as well. I just keep spamming my button. <laughs> triggers are just such a fun weapon. I'm really curious to see what the nerf will do to it. Like, I mean, I know what's going to happen to it, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. Oh, man, he's getting wrecked. All right, last player. Let's see if we can snipe him. I kind of want to always be ready with my weapon. I don't want to charge it up and wait for the perfect opportunity. You know what I mean? Kind of sucks. What the heck was that? My son just did a backflip on the bed or something. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's screwed. Everybody using triggers and stuff. Boom. Nice. All right, guys. Welcome to the chemical plant. <clears throat> All right, guys, welcome to the chemical plant. Yep, I already overheated my weapons. Whoa. This guy's screwed. Oh, beautiful shot. I like how the um, 
Spark doesn't affect this gun with the reload. Uh oh, ah, oh, shoot. Oh, mm, grenadiers. Oh, God, I, uh oh. A little help here, guys. Oh, come on. Oh, wrong way. Oh, come on. That sucks. Let's just stop. Uh, blow up on this guy. Uh, nah. Oh, this guy. Beautiful. Did I get his crookets? I think so. All right, guys. Welcome to Old Town. Uh oh, God, no. Drones again. Oh, got his gun, I think. A lot of people here. Mm, I wanted to get his gun. Gonna peek again. Oh, beautiful hit. Oh, no, I'm getting hit pretty hard. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. What? 89? 98 damage? Nah, I'm not peeking again. What the? Oh, man. And that's why I said 40% less durability. They're really annoying to deal with. Oh, come on, dude. There you go. Uh oh. Oh no, that's not good. Oh man. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh come on. Beautiful. I got one cricket. hard to hit people with this because you gotta time it and stuff like I just want to click and I want it to go out of my barrel not like time it and stuff because that just makes things a lot harder I don't think we're gonna win this one either man oh good hit oh but we lost god dang it yeah the whole timing shit sucks man All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up with this match. Now, I got a lot of EU server matches, which kind of sucked because I had like uh, 190 ping and 50% back at loss, which was completely unplayable. And US servers are actually lower than usual. You usually get like 120, but 105 is great. Anyways, um, at the end of the video, I'm going to kind of discuss some changes I would like to see with this weapon because it has a lot of potential, but currently it really, really sucks. Okay, let's just get rid of this guy. Oh my god. Oh my god, wow, it took so long to take care of him. Mm, missed them. Oh, got him pretty good. I think he got himself with his own grenade launcher weapon. Not sure what he was. Uh, oh, shoot. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, 
There we go. Oh, come on, missed. Yeah, it takes a little bit too long to take care of someone. Look at that guy. I've been shooting him for so long. And I missed. There we go. This gun finally off. Let's oh, come on, man. It takes so long to get rid of someone. It's a legendary weapon. God dang it. Uh, really disappointed. All right, so my team on the last match did almost nothing. Anyways, there's a lot of issues with this weapon. Now, first off, like the, 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 the primary fire mode or secondary fire mode, this fire mode, I think it's just way too annoying to use. You have to click nonstop. So I suggest just um, you should be able to switch between gun modes, just like the new cabin. Just press a button and you'll switch to automatic mode or to charge mode. And you can fire these, like you can fire like this just by holding down your mouse button. That would be a very, very good change. Also, when you charge the gun, why do you have to hold down the mouse button? It could just fire just like the trigger. You press once, it charge up, it charges up and then automatically fires at a certain time. I think that approach would have been way better. It would be similar, but you know, it would be still be a lot better than this just waiting. It just takes too long. Also, third issue, why does the weapon have to overheat? Like it could just automatically fire once the charge is complete instead of just annoy you. Um, so those changes I think would be great for this weapon. That last match, that last guy that I was shooting for so long, it just took way too long. The pulsar just would have destroyed him instantly. But, but with this thing, it just takes forever. So I hope they improve this weapon a little bit because right now it kind of sucks. Um, yeah, it, it, it does kind of suck, you know. I know I'm not using the Quantum Cabin because that would give it 20% more damage if I don't get hit. I am using the Jade Perk, but that doesn't really help it. Um, but yeah, currently this is a legendary weapon, but it feels very, very underwhelming. Um, when you get hit by it, it does kind of hurt, but yeah, you know, it, it just fires way too slow. The pulsar is, in my opinion, way more effective. But just look at this. It just, just takes way too long for, you know, that amount of damage. So we got 300 something. It's not going to be the perfect comparison, but I just want to check because the pulsar, you just click and the balls have 100% accuracy and they just go. So we shot at the second bus, right? Look at that, way more damage. So I really hope they buff it a little bit and give it like two fire modes that is switchable, just like the, what's the cabin called? The new one, the yellow one, the Omnibox? Yeah, the Omnibox, yeah. You know, you just press a button, it switches modes, or they should give the weapon an alternate fire mode that is on a different button like left click and mouse or right click left click right click you know and have those two fire modes but anyways hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think in the comment section down below this build is not that bad either but anyways uh, enough talk i'll see you guys in the next one um if i get sick or something i'll just give you guys an update on the situation uh, but i think i'll be fine all right guys see you guys next time peace out